Hi guys and welcome back to our FIFA 21 Sunderland Road to Glory career mode. So in this episode we're heading into the month of October 2023 we've got quite a jam-packed month and I'm actually going to go through the entire month in this episode. So the way I am going to do it is I'm going to start by quick summing this game against Leeds away from home in the Premier League. We are then going to play the game at the Stage of Malai against Moscow in the Champions League. We then welcome Manchester United to the Stage of Malai in the Prem which we will also play. We'll then simulate the game against Norwich in the Cup. We shall simulate the game, or sorry, we shall play the game against Burnley in the league. Then we'll finish the episode off by quick simming this game against Moscow again, the return leg um, in the group stage of the Champions League. I think that's a good way to get through the entire month in the fairest way as well. We'll start off by quick simming this game against bottom of the league, Leeds United. Can we please get a nice, easy three points to start the episode off with? Please don't mess me around, lads. And we win by two goals to one. I got a little bit scared there. Bailey. And uh, who else scored for us? Bailey and Jao Pedro got a goal after just a couple of minutes. And it was enough to get past 20th place Leeds. But now we are going to be going into the group stage of the Champions League. It is a third game for us as we welcome CSK in Moscow to their stage of line. And this is the lineup we're going to go with. We have Hendo in goal. Hume, Kwasi, Mavropanos, Lamptey, Bryce, Gravenberch, Bailey, Zoracho, Madweki and Jao Pedro up top. I've just noticed I've called Henderson Hendo which is usually something reserved for Jordan Henderson, but we've got uh, a different Henderson in goal today. But let's get into it. And here we are at the stage of light. It looks absolutely beautiful. I love it when uh, they hold all the cards up, so it has the waves of red and white across the stands. It's Mavra Parnas that leads us out today. Frenchie does drop to the bench because he's ever so slightly unfit, so it'd be nice to see Zoracho play just in behind. Jao Pedro up top. Currently got two wins from two in the Champions League. Again, likes a Leon Bailey. Ja Pedro as well, Zaracho, so many key names in the squad now. Can they be the key to make it three wins from three? Bit of space there for them now, Moscow, and it's a goal. They open in 15 minutes. I was just saying both sides are trying to find a little bit of room, better space. And they are the first side to manage to get that space. And they've got themselves a deserved 1-0 lead. Look at that huge gap though. Where is Kwasi going there? He's made that gap huge between the two centre-backs, Mavropanos and himself, making it so easy for Vlasic to open the scoring here. That's horrendous defending. Kwasi is usually so much better than that. Now they are going to break. This is terrible stuff. And it's a save from Henderson. What is wrong with us today? We've been absolutely horrendous. Ball whips in to the centre. Get you in it, someone headed away. Headed again and just over the bar. Moscow looks so good at the moment. Considering we've played the likes of Juventus and at Salzburg as well, I didn't think Moscow would be the, the ones that are going to give us problems. It's pulled back. This is really good football from them. What is Henderson doing? He's made a big mistake here. He does recover with a massive save. But Jesus Christ, what is going on with the game today? So many little errors we've seen already. And we've lost the ball at the back. We're all over the place. We're playing terribly. Get over to Mavropanos. He can't. It's been struck first time. Kawasi with the last ditch challenge. And we should be 2 or 3 nil down here. We've been that poor. Now here is Zaracho. Can he send his man? Again, it's passed. It's the wrong player. Keeps doing that. But now here's Bailey. He needs support. He's got none of it. Here is Gravenberch. Can he maybe take his man on and get a bit of room? It's still Gravenberch in towards. Can his man, can he finish it? Yes, he can. It's 1-1. It's so unbelievably undeserved. We've been horrendous. We've played horrible. Yet we still managed to get ourselves back on level terms through Zaracho. Get in. And there goes the half-time whistle. And what can I say? Other than we really don't deserve to be level right now. They've had a good two or three really, really good clear-cut chances at Moscow. Where have we? We've... We just can't make anything with passing to the wrong players all the time. But luckily, we're going into half-time level. Can we improve in the second half? Because we can't go through an episode of little things not going our way. Because it's going to become a very, very stressful one. And very quickly. Go to him, go to him. Don't let him get past you. Don't let him get past you. Well, they might have a And a free kick's been given. So soft. But they do have a free kick in a decent position. We need to get someone on the post here. Please. It has been hit. Get it away. Yes. Positioned perfectly there, Kawasi. Surely that's offside ref. It's not been given. And it's going to be a goal kick. Vlasic now breaking forward. Tries to find his man. Get over to him. Mavropanos. He just tried to. It's a good chance. It's a great save from Henderson in goal. He's been so good so far, by the way. He made some great saves in the last episode. And he saved us now. Let's not let him get some room here. They're trying to 
Wriggle the way into the box. Come on, Hume. That's way too easy for him. He's got loads of space here. Struck it. Blocked by Kwasi. Headed away. And can we please get it out of our own box now? Knock it on one more time. And it is Madweke. Great chance for Madweke. He's done this so many times. Can he get a cross goal? Surely he can. Yes, it's 2-1. Zaracho had the double. We've literally had one chance in this entire second half. And we've put it in the back of the net. And it's Matthias Zaracho who does it again. Get in. It was a counter-attack. When isn't it a counter-attack with us? Madweke, a cross goal. Sweaty as you like, but I don't care. We needed to get that one. Moscow must be really, really hurting right now because... We've had two chances, really, throughout this entire game and scored them both. Moscow have dominated. Get your head in it. Get your head in it. Well in. Can we maybe get one last chance? It is Zaracho. Lovely stuff from Zaracho there. Can he help his man? Tries to find. Surely, can we finish it? Yes, we can. It's 3-1. And we've absolutely done them over here. 3-1. João Pedro on the score sheet now. That was gorgeous play. From Zaracho, who's had an absolutely man of the match performance. Lovely stuff from him. Knocks it on perfectly. First time finish. It's a gorgeous finish as well. 3-1. And it's just another one of those undeserved victories. And we're getting into the habit of winning games that we don't really deserve to. We're winning games where we're not really playing very well. Which is the sign of champions. And I'll take that every day of the week. And there goes the full-time whistle. 3-1. Undeserved. I can't say it enough. But we're not going to complain, are we? It's another three points in the Champions League group stages. But now it is a top-of-the-table clash. An early season top-of-the-table clash, mind you. But even so, it is still a top-of-the-table clash. It's Sunderland at first. It's Manchester United. Manchester United in second. We are still top of the league and unbeaten. So this is the line I'm going to go with. We have Henderson in goal. Hume, Kawasi, Konsa, Justin... Bailey, Madweke, Gravenberch, Zaracho, Frenchy, and Jones up top. Let's get into it. And here we are at the stage of light this evening as we do welcome Manchester United. What an important game this could be. This could really stretch our lead at the top as we are currently unbeaten, of course. But it's not going to be easy as we do take on Manchester United, who are in a rich vein of form themselves. Second in the league, of course. Come on, lads. Rashford now. Manchester United captain being held up by Justin. Managed to pull it back for Williams. On Konku now holds it all back to Rashford, trying to worm some space around the edge of the box. Go over to him. Well in, Justin. Brilliantly done there. Great defending from him. Get it away. Well in. Denver Hume now. I can see Ricky J. Jones making a move here. Can he maybe get some space? Still Jones. Can he hit it? He can. Back to French into Jones. No one can get on the end of it. First chance of the game, and it's fell for us. Try and get a ball in. Can he get the first? Yes, he can. Is he onside? I think he isn't. Or is he onside? No, it's been ruled out. Ricky J. Jones. That was close. And we thought he may have just broke the deadlock. Fortunately, it was just about offside. Oh, they are breaking though now. And it's Greenwood. He's going to try and cut inside. Up against his man. Hold him up, hold him up, hold him up, hold him up. Don't let him get a shot off. He does have a good shot. It has been struck. And Henderson holds on to that one. Knock it on, well played. Now it is Ricky J. Jones hits it from distance. Oh, and he's hit the post. It's Frenchy. It's in. It's 1-0 and that one definitely wasn't offside. We've deserved it. And Jones, that shot, if that had gone in, then I would have absolutely screamed. What an effort that was. Which fell back really kindly for Frenchy. He was not going to miss from there. He lashes it home. We've deserved it. We've been a lot better in this game. I feel like we've dominated and made a lot more chances in this one. Of course, United have their own threats and we've had to defend ourselves. But I feel like we've been making a lot more chances in this one. And it's 1-0. Oh, no, it is Deli Alley though now. Gets over to him. That's a bad challenge for Greenwood. Back to Deli Alley and Henderson gets there first. Again, he's been so good, Henderson. And there goes the half-time whistle. 1-0. I think we just about deserved it. As mentioned earlier, United have made the odd chance there and there. Henderson having to make a good couple of saves. But I feel like we've made enough chances to warrant being in the lead. That's a good chance now. And it is Unkunku driving straight out. It's very direct. Really good football from Manchester United. Oh, what a save that was from Henderson. The tip of his toe. A save is there. Brandt, the substitute, who's just come on there. Lovely football for Manchester United. Well, look, he's just got the tip of his toe that took it away from goal. I think he could be the difference this season, Henderson. He's been so, so good. Get it away, headed. Only as far as Brandt, again, who's causing problems since coming on. He's managed to find himself a little bit of space. He's trying to get a shot off here. Get it away, lads. Jesus Christ. 1-1. One, one. Utter dog shit, it's got to be said. Players just are purposely avoiding Manchester United players. Rashford gifted that one on a plate. 
Look at that. Everyone just running away from the men. It's just shocking. A little one-two with our defender there. Lovely stuff. Oh, God. I'm sour now. I'm really sour because that was just bullshit. 1-1. One, one. Well in. Good header there by Conser. Now it is Zaracho who's going to try and break us forward. Zaracho, lovely stuff. It's still Zaracho. Can he get a shot off himself? He can. And it's gone wide. Brycey and João Pedro are both going to come on for the final 15 minutes. Well, just over 15 minutes of this game. See if we can maybe wriggle out a second goal. But it's not looking likely at the moment. It's got to be said. Williams now, the left back coming down this left side. Back to Rashford. Tries to get his man in. But well played there, Justin. Get it away. Straight back to Manchester United, though. And luckily they've given us a throw-in. But since they've scored, we've had nothing. We've been so, so poor. Well, in concert now. Is the one last attack in this game. And it is Madweke. Come and help him out. Pull it back across goal. Oh, that one simple pass. And he just couldn't do it. We do have a corner, though. Can anyone get the head on this? Last moment of the game. Get ahead on it, anyone. And it's going to get cleared away. And I think that is going to be it. It is 1-1, a really, really frustrating game. I feel like we should have won this one. We had more than enough chances, but once they equalised, everything just went to shit. Passes weren't coming off, but our unbeaten record is still in good nick in the Premier League. But now we are going to be quick quicksimming our fourth round tie of the EFL Cup against Norwich. We'll quicksim that with our second string squad. Will it be enough? Again, we're not really too bothered about this competition. But we do lose Godfrey and Puki getting the goals in response to Nelson's earlier goal for us. 2-1 to Norwich. And now, I suppose it is technically another top-of-the-table clash. And this is why I wanted to play this game against Burnley away from home. Because as you can see, they are third at the moment. Let's have a look at their record. But they've had a brilliant, brilliant start to the season. Have Burnley, as we've just mentioned, currently in third. But let's have a look at them. They've only lost two games, winning six and drawing two as well, 20 points, a level on points with Manchester United as well, and Spurs. So it's a great start to the season. Their opening 10 games have been absolutely brilliant at Turf Moor. But this is the line I'm going to go with. Henderson, Hume, Kawasi, Mavra, Parnas, Lamptey, Zoracho, Bright, Madweki, Bailey, Frenchy, and Joe Padre up top. Let's have a look at this Burnley side. There must be something big that has really helped them this season. They've got Wesley up top, Niang as well, a bit of pace there. I think they've got a bit of pace and strength up top, which has probably helped them. It's a flat 4-4-2. Tomori in there, former Chelsea defender. There's a half-decent side there, but nothing that really sticks out that uh, makes me think they deserve a third place um, a position in the table at the moment. But either way, they've, uh, they've achieved it, so let's get into it. And here we are at Turf Moor, and as the commentator has just let me know, Tom Davies, their central midfielder, has scored four goals in the past three games, so maybe he is a man... So keep an eye on, well of course he is. He's obviously doing very, very well here. But we are on an unbeaten run of our own. Is that going to be a slight kick clash? I hope not, because they're both two very dark kits. Hopefully it should be okay. But away we go. Come on, lads. Let's make it 11 games unbeaten. Niang now inside for Goodmanson. Wesley now trying to break in. Well played there originally. Can we get it away? We tried to. It's fell back to him and it's a save at the near post. From Henderson. On to Bryce. Can he send his man? He does try and send Frenchy. He is going to get there, Frenchy. He is going to get there. Still Frenchy. He's gone for the dink. Why didn't I just hit it? I've tried to be cocky. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. And when it doesn't, you look an idiot. <laughs> so I'll tell you what. This is what 90% of the games are. Every single team, regardless of who they are, they take it to the corner flag. Then we need to try and nick the ball off. It's like the time wasting immediately. But saying this... French on the counter-attack. Is it going to be a counter-attack of dreams? Frenchy! Yes! There we go. It is 1-0. That is the pace and the direction we needed. Come on. That is the first goal of the game. And it comes from Isaac French. Ball that wide for Gossens. There's plenty of time to take the ball in, but they just wait for us to get back and then they hold up the play. That's all they do. So annoying. And it's that offside. I thought it might be. Gossens back to the left back. Well played. One minute added on. I think the whistle's going to go for half time. There we go. I think we've deserved it, although they have made a couple of chances of their own. I think all in all, we have played a lot better in this game. Hopefully, we can finish it off in the second half. Now, Gravenberch and Jones are both going to come on for the final 20 minutes. I'm trying to give people as much game time as possible. Now, here is 
Frenchy, look at that for a lovely touch from Frenchy. Still going French. Can he cut inside? He just tried to. Still French. Can he finish it? He can! It's an absolute beauty from Isaac French. A gorgeous individual goal and a gorgeous finish to top it off. Get in! The game felt like it was fizzling out a little bit, but then he pops up with a moment of magic. He always does. Look how he cuts inside. And that's a lovely finish right into the far corner. Keeper had no chance. 2 0. And that is the game rounded off, you would think. Come on. Good chance now, Gossens, go with swim, well played. Defended so much better in this game. Bailey now down the line for Gravenberch. The ball plays on the left wing here. But he can't drive forward, he just try and find. Ricky J Jones, he thinks it across goal. Can Frenchy get there for his hat trick? Yes, he can. It is the counter attack of dreams. 3 0 away from home at Turf Moor. And now Burnley are absolutely collapsing. Get in. Lovely stuff from Gravenberch into Ricky J Jones. We're going to maybe try to twist and turn and find some room for Jones himself. But it's a lovely little dig and a lovely head of pass Pope in goal. And that's a sick goal of the season for Isaac French and a hat trick in this game as well and there goes the final whistle 3-0 in which started off to be quite a difficult test I felt like the first half it was relatively even but we just about deserved it second half we ran the show we were a lot better Frenchy popped up with a good few moments of magic as well a hat-trick for him 3-0 but now we will be simulating the final game of the episode in the Champions League against Moscow because as you can see we're absolutely running away with that group stage there with Moscow and Salzburg both on just one point. So we'll probably use our second string squad here, give them some game time in the Champions League as well, which is always very nice for them. Let them all have a run out. We'll quick submit, see how they get on. If they get a win, that'd be brilliant. If not, it's okay. We're already doing very well in the Champions League. And the draw to all Chamberlain. He missed a penalty, but he did score one in the 75th minute and Robert scored an early goal as well in the 29th. But this is how the Premier League table looked at the end of the episode. It's been an almost perfect start to the season. Unbeaten, drawing two, winning at nine as well on 29 points with Spurs, City, Liverpool, Manchester United, Burnley all behind us. I love that goal difference as well. Only conceding five goals this season, but we will have a look at the bottom three as well. Wolves, Leeds United and Aston Villa. Leeds and Aston Villa still looking and searching for their first win of the season. But that'll be it, guys. If you have enjoyed, please hit the like button for me. It'll be massively, massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully fledged member of the Sony Army. But for now, you take care and stay jammy.